guys, it's Marianne. Remember me? I know, it's been a minute. I just haven't been crafting as much because I've been hosting the brand new HGTV podcast. Yes, we have a podcast and we talk about all kinds of things HGTV related. So I'm gonna get into this craft in a second, but I am gonna have a moment of desperation and ask you to check out the description below and go listen. It's called HGTV Obsessed. It's hosted by me. Um, I don't know, all of you guys out there who are always telling me you love my voice, well, guess what? It's, it's only my voice. So please go check out HGTV Obsessed because that is what's taking up a lot of my time these days. But you know what? A lot of us on Handmade trying out things that have been popularized across the internet. Viral crafts, let's just say. You know, Gabby's taking on all of these TikTok crafts, Liz is making dye out of avocados. And the last time I tried a viral craft, well, I rubbed a bunch of dirt on a lamp. Getting wild in here, guys. It's wild. You know, not to be outdone, this week I am taking on joint compound art. Do you know what that is? I didn't. Until I went and looked it up and then I realized, oh yeah, people are making all of this really cool, very textury art. It looks, you know, very high end. It looks very organic and it's all made from joint compound. This is something you buy at the hardware store that typically is used to smooth over the joints in drywall. So how does this turn into fine art? Well, we're gonna find out together today. So if you wanna do this yourself, you're going to wanna get some canvases, a container of joint compound, and then you can either pick up some items like these at the hardware store or go take around your garage or look for, I don't know, I mean, you could use a, you could use a fork, anything that will make any kind of pattern. The world is your oyster and the best thing is, if you don't like it, you can scrape it off and start over. Um, okay, I feel like I'm just doing a lot of talking and not a lot of making, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna take our canvas, open up our joint compound. Now, from what I read in the directions, you've got about 10 or 15 minutes before the joint compound really starts to set up. Um, if you get to the finish line and you don't really like how it looks, just let it dry completely and you can put on another layer. I mean, this is pretty forgiving stuff. There it is. I'm gonna start with a, I don't know, about that much. Make sure you close it up in between because you don't want it to dry out. And then I'm just gonna spread this out. I'm gonna make a relatively thin, even layer. I mean, relatively, because the texture here is kind of what you're going for. You can always put more on, but Everything I saw said, if you make your layer too thick, it will take forever to dry and it will likely crack. And I have an idea of something I can do with like these spreaders. I want it to be kind of like an arched motif. So I don't want any cracks. I want it to look relatively smooth. I mean, that's just fun. It's kind of like frosting a cake. You know? All right, that looks fairly smooth. And so I want to try out a few of these different things. Actually, I'm going to go with this first. And I'm going to try to make an arch. It's kind of like trial and error, but the nice thing is if you're not pleased with the outcome, not pleased with the outcome, you can smooth it over and start over. Okay, that's 
fun. All right, so I have kind of a, some thick areas or like some chunks in the joint compound. I think it's like some that just dried in the container. I'm gonna scrape those off. I'm gonna try again. You might be wondering, you know, what if I don't want it to be white? Well, after this dries, we're actually going to give it a spray paint. Um, I also bet that you could tint the joint compound, but I'm really not sure. Okay, we're gonna try again. This is fun. Okay, while we wait for everything to dry, I thought it would be fun to test out some of these others. So, I've got a really big canvas, and we're just gonna have some fun. You can really make a lot out of one small container. First, we're gonna try this big guy. Ooh, that one is fun. This almost looks knitted. them and risk messing up your pattern so feel underneath if they're still wet the canvas on the back will feel a little bit damp these still need a little longer good morning guys from my front porch my joint compound art has fully dried you know what that means it is time for spray paint I picked some 
ultra flat colors in neutrals, kind of going for like a desert vibe with these arches. So let's get to spray painting. Make sure you get the sides too. Oh man, I mean, when I say it's hot, I mean it is hot out here. It's not even 9 a.m. Anyway, um, I'm gonna let those dry completely. I thought they were gonna take two coats, but by the time I got all the different angles, I think one coat is gonna do it. So it's pretty humid out here. So I'm gonna let those sit out here for a couple of hours before I hang them up. All right, everything is dry, and overall, I'm really feeling these. I'm not really into this big one. Something about it reminds me of like an acoustic ceiling tile. I'm not feeling it, but you know what the cool thing is? I can put another layer of joint compound on it and try a different design. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of this art. I mean, what is art? Who's to say? So this one wasn't my favorite, but I am really feeling these. I just think that the matte spray paint really shows off the texture. I especially like these two smaller ones. I kind of like them together, like one on top of the other. So I think that's how I'm going to hang it. But I want to hear from you guys. Like, what did you all think about this? Have you tried joint compound art? Because I was a little skeptical as far as how well it's going to work. I'm a little particular about the art I hang in my house. But I think this is really cool. It's very inexpensive. You don't need a ton of artistic skill or talent. And you end up with this really cool, very textural art for your place. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this and if it's inspired you to hit up the hardware store yourself. And I'm gonna go hang these up. I'm feeling like I wanna put them in my, my jungle bathroom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my attempt at joint compound art and hopefully it's inspired you to try to make your own artwork. I'll see you next time.